can't see anything. Snow's in my eyes. We have 81 days left to build our cabin. We have been away for the weekend and we had a massive amount of snow come through. You can see Dad's just clearing the entry to our property now. And we've got ice in front, so you can see these cars, they're taking it very carefully. It's a bit slippy here. You can see, just in this section here, it's down to that height in my boot, but where we live, it was like at least a foot of snow over the weekend, which is the most we've had all season. So yeah. We have the man to come and drill the pylons coming at 11 o'clock and that's pretty soon so we have to hurry up and quickly get this cleared so he can actually get to the place of the cabin. One thing about the entrance to our property is it's east facing and we get a lot of wind coming from the west and the land drops away to the road because the road's been cut out to make it more even. So a lot of the wind blows from the west this way and drops all the snow right off in here. So this end up, ends up being a lot deeper. That coupled with the fact that they have the big graders that come along the road and push all the ice and everything, which makes a big hard bank along the edge. Makes it a little bit of a challenge to get this cleared. But okay, thankfully we had the tractor. Here we go. Right up to the legs. So my knees here, so it's at least a good foot deep here. But yeah. We've got the tractor, which is one of the reasons we bought it, because you have to clear snow here in Russia. In Australia, we didn't have that problem. But we'll get there. So you can see that we have a lot of wet snow here. It's slush from the snow. That's because on the weekend we had really warm weather. We had massive puddles in our yard. And uh, it was like, I think plus five or plus eight degrees over the weekend. But everything was melting. It was looking like spring was coming. And then on Saturday night, we just got this snow dumped on us. But today is sort of the first really cool day. It's minus 11 right now. They're expecting it to drop down to like minus 20 tonight. So all this is gonna freeze. So it's really good that we can move it now before it turns into just one big ice block. Driving up the track, Dad's clearing them way ahead of us. Still a lot of snow on the sides. The truck's having a little bit of trouble, but it's getting through. Okay, I think this is about where Dad got up to before. With the snow this deep and this much all at once, it's actually hard to tell exactly where the track is. They've plowed the fields along the edge of this track, so it's quite rough there. So, Dad can tell when he hits a rough spot that he's not in the path, but it's a bit of a guessing game, trying to find exactly where everything is. Well, we had a massive setback. So Dad cleared all the way up to the house, where the house is going to be, where the cabin's going to be. And then I went down to guide the person who was going to come and drill them in. When we came up here, we saw our house, house pad. I don't know if you can see, but 
half, at least half of our pegs are laying on the ground. And what we think happened is we put them in on a Thursday and the ground was rock hard. We drilled into the ground, we put them in. They were about at least two centimeters in the ground. But on Saturday we had such warm temperatures. I think the top of the ground thawed and we had some soft soil. The ones that weren't as quiet, quite as far in the ground just all fell over because the soil became loose and wet. So this corner post didn't move, but that one has, the one in the far corner has, and the one, the first one hasn't moved. So we had to send the person for joining them back. He came out all this way, but we had nowhere for him to drill. And this is gonna take us at least a few days to recover from. It's really unfortunate. I did not expect this to happen. This is really gonna set us back a long way. Because we literally have no way of knowing where all the pegs are that are in the ground and we like to build very accurately so that if you start accurate at the bottom when you get to the roof and you finish everything it's going to be have the best chance possible if you start guessing here and everything gets out of line it's just going to be a headache later on so we want to get it done right and as best as possible so we're going to take the time to go through and redo all this measuring, marking, and then hopefully we can get him out early this week because obviously he's got his own business, his own job. And I know tomorrow he's not available and the day after it's, he doesn't know yet. But we're going to give it our best shot and hopefully get this done by the end of this week. Yeah, we really hope to have all of this done today and even be starting to level everything off, but that's just not happening. To clear the snow from inside with the tractor can't get to, and Dad is gonna be clearing the outside edge. Yeah. That's really disappointing. you and you're just out in the nature you can get a bit windy um, we're gonna fix that with planting trees and things like that but right now before we've done that you can get a strong breeze I can't see anything Snow in my eyes. Uh. Oi. Oh, that's cold. Uh. Any glasses? Oh, man. My eyes are really good. Oi. Woo. Uh. Hang on. Uh. Oh. 
Oi, oi, oi. That should help. I just hope the door doesn't rip off the car. Got it, got it. There we go. Much better. I can see. All right. Oh, except my glasses are bogging up because of the warm air. got that because I can hardly see anything with the glasses as well. They're all fogged up. I think I need snow glasses which have the, the seals around them so they don't fog up. Back. And the safety of the car. I think I'll wait for him to finish. Oh, oh, that was stuck to my eyebrow. Ow. It's crazy out here. All this snow that we just cleared off the road, it's all blowing back in snowdrifts. The visibility is really low. I can only see, I don't know, 200 meters. That's about it. Okay, it is day 68. Obviously last time you saw us, it was really windy and lots of snow. We had a ton of snow then and after that snow we had a really cold whoop, just fell in the snow a really cold period and uh, it was like minus 28 minus 35 really cold we were trying to start the tractor to clear all that snow out but we couldn't get the tractor going so today it is minus 10 degrees make sure I don't get run over we got the tractor running we got some warmer temperatures coming this week. Finally, it has really put a big dent into our time of what we can get done in our 90 days. As you can see, over here, this is the snow next to our road. It's almost coming up to my waist. And this is the track to our driveway. We had this all clear. You see snowmobiles have been up, coming up here. And it doesn't look too bad now. But as I'm walking up here, this snow here is at least a meter deep. If I step into here, uh, from the cold weather it's um, compacted a bit so I can walk on it, but it is deep. So I have to get in here and clean all this snow up just to get into our property. It's amazing how warm minus 10 can feel after you've had like minus 20 and 28. Feels like spring's coming.
membership site we put out a video basically two weeks ago just showing you know that whole front yard was melted we had uh, a massive puddles and we're like oh wow this is amazing and then we knew there was a cold sort of bit coming but we sort of expected you know maybe the, the puddle will freeze and there'll be a little bit of snow but it just dumped on us and the and then the temperature dropped like for two weeks straight down to sort of your minus 25 daytime to minus 35 at night time and none of the machinery wanted to start it uh, you can't get contractors out in that sort of cold because it just won't work uh, so it put a big spanner in the works and slowed it down quite a lot and we're under the pump to get it done so we are out here on a Sunday afternoon trying to get the snow cleared for uh, so we can get right back into it uh, in this coming week all right, you can see by the snow piles on either side of the bank how much snow we're having to move to get up this hill. It didn't look like much, but it was a huge uh, snow bank to get through. Joe's doing a great job clearing all up. So we're really hoping that uh, by the time next year comes, well, next snow, next the snow season comes, uh, we'll have a proper blade built for the front of the tractor. The back it works reasonably well, but you know, obviously with a with a uh, with a snow pusher blade, you can actually push up a lot more snow per run, so it makes a much faster moving snow. And of course, next year we'll be actually be living on site, so we'll be able to move. You know, we'll be moving smaller amounts of snow more regularly, and it won't be such a big job to move snow. It's the end of the day, you can see the sun's setting over there, well it's going to be setting soon and we're about a third of the way out to our property, we've cleared, the entrance section was as I said a meter deep and pushing up piles and they're as high as the tractor and it just took a long time, now I'm working my way up here, unfortunately we can't push just one straight line the whole way through, the tractor bogs down, there's too much snow and it's gotten too stiff with all the really cold temperatures. So we had to come through and do like lots of little swipes the whole way, it just takes a long time. So tomorrow we'll come out again, attack the rest of the driveway so we can actually get to our property because that's what we need to do to work on our house, on the cabin. And we're not getting any more days. All right, it's the next day. We are clearing snow. I just wanted to show you. Look how tall the piles of snow are. They're massive. They're like, I know, two meters tall, roughly about eight foot. Just about as tall as the tractor. They're as high as I can pull, push them up. And we've had some snow overnight. It's not too much. You can see down here. There's a max about an inch of snow, so not too bad. But yeah, we have to go clear the rest of our driveway. I think you guys get the idea of just taking a long time. Alright, keep going. Well, we've gotten to the house pad and I've been around here clearing all the snow around. So they can't clear the snow in the house pad so we'll come tomorrow with shovels and push all that out and then push it out of the way with the tractor but the, all the area around I've been cleaning and try and get some just walk area you can walk in so yeah now it is I've got to check the time 
let's see, just past six, so 10, so that's about eight hours work, just clearing snow. But it's good, finally got here. <sighs> I'm going to head home now because I don't have any shovels with me. Shovel that. And the sun, you can't see the sun because of all the clouds, but um, it is over there and it is getting close to sunset, if you could see it. Got a lot of haze, a little bit of snow coming down, but not too much, thankfully, because I don't want to clear this hole again. Anyway, I'm going to head back and we'll see you tomorrow, just like this. Here we are, we are back. The sun is out, it's a lovely day. You can see we had a little bit of snowfall over the night, not too much. And we're here with shovels to clear the house pad. So we, we have to reset these heights and then redo basically, not quite from beginning again, but very close to, to shoot all the heights again. So yeah, it's been a big setback, especially when we're working so hard against you with 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 the time frame we've got to try and get this built but you know when you have a setback you just get up and you try again you do your best that's all you can do so we are here moving the snow we'll try and salvage as many of the original heights that we can and from then we will uh reset the new ones and then we'll get the guy back in to do the screw piles and then we're back on track a little bit delayed but we're back on track All right, so we've been clearing a bit by hand, but we just talked about it. Because our some of our um, actual main battle boards have moved, um, we can't guarantee that the house is going to be over the exact same spot. So our pegs aren't necessarily the ones that are upright going to match up with our when we remark. So. What we're going to do now is go through and try to pull all these pegs out because we're going to have to redo them anyway and then we'll run the tractor through and save us some time shoveling and a little bit of energy. It's a new day, we're out here, and the goal for today is to get all the string lines up and get it all marked out. So we've got a big job ahead of us, we came out nice and early, the sun's just coming up over the mountains. It's a little bit fresh this morning, but it's going to get to about minus 6 today, so that'll be nice. No, no clouds today, so the sun is going to do... It's a wonderful thing and warm everything up.
All right, we thought we'd give you a little update. Uh, things are going really well today. Uh, we, get, we got all that snow cleared yesterday, and as Joe mentioned before, we're back here um, resetting out, basically starting all the whole set out process again. Uh, but it's gone really well. Uh, the other thing is we're not, we also, uh, we don't just get to build as far as we have other things to do. So right now we're also busy going through part of the, our immigration process. Um, it just takes time. We've got to go to the local migration office, drop off our paperwork, answer questions and, and do things like that. And then sometimes they need a little bit more paperwork. So you have to go back. So, uh, we've just been away for about two, two hours, uh, getting paperwork done. So it's just one of those things. It's, it's, it's not like you can work full, a full day on a job. Some days we can, but today we had to go away and, and take care of some paperwork as well. So, um, you know it's it's something you just have to do so we do it and now we're back on site um putting all these pins in uh we've got the guy lined up he can't come tomorrow but he's coming on monday uh so we will get everything ready for him and then keep a close eye on it so it's all ready for when he comes on monday well we hope you guys enjoyed coming along and seeing our disaster it was a setback but we're just going to keep going hard at it. Don't forget we have memberships. Uh, you can see a lot more behind the scenes content. We put a video out each week there. Um, and you also get early releases to our weekly videos. Uh, be a legend, like the video. And also you might like this video here as well. We'll catch you on the next one.